Well, I think first and foremost, uh, as Boris Johnson has been saying right throughout this campaign, he needs to get Brexit done. And that really is, uh, for the first phase, a pretty straightforward operation. He's already negotiated an exit deal with the European Union, and now that he has a majority, he'll have no problem getting that passed through Parliament behind me here. So unless something extraordinary happens, we will see Brexit happen on January 31st next year. But then the real work really starts, and he needs to negotiate UK, the UK's future trade relationship with the European Union. They need to do a free trade agreement. And no one is under the illusion that this is going to be easy. Boris Johnson thinks he can have it done by this time next year. There are plenty who doubt that, including some of the European leaders. Uh, one of the advantages, though, that Boris Johnson does have is this stonkingly huge majority that he has managed to secure in this election. That means he is no longer shackled by parliamentary deadlock. He is no longer beholden to any of the other parties. He's no longer beholden to any of his own MPs and factions, and I'm talking mainly here about the hardcore Brexiteer group who've been really pushing for a hard Brexit. Without having to rely on them for votes, Boris Johnson can go forward with a lot more flexibility into those negotiations with the European Union, and it gives him the option, if he wants to take it, for a much softer Brexit, a much closer alignment with the European Union. So we don't quite know what sort of Boris is going to turn up to those European uh, negotiations, but certainly he has a lot more flexibility than he had, say, a week ago.